Again, all explained by Tesla scalar interferometry. Actually, another very good scalar interferometer is sitting up between the two ears of each listener. The two cerebral halves, for example, form such a scalar interferometry. The way one must produce phi wave without all the coupling or without so much coupling is that the charged masses, the ions or the electrons, for example, that are used to pile up to produce phi field must be moved at great speed, essentially at breakdown of the medium velocity. They must move, be moved as quickly as possible and then stabilized to hold the activity, the virtual state activity that constitutes charge. And so the way we actually must produce phi waves without so much coupling into vector waves is in that fashion. And that is why the human nervous system, for example, utilizes cascade discharges across large numbers of nerve fibers. For example, brain waves, so-called, are not waves along a wire. They are, in fact, cascade discharges of charged particles, for example. And it is in that fashion that the human system is able to use scalar waves and couple them then into vector waves, which will move the charges and give signals. I do not have time in this lecture to go into that, but let me say this. All of the phenomena of classical parapsychology can be explained by the new idea of phi field, that is a phi four field, by scalar waves and by scalar interferometry. It means that a finely tuned system, for example, human system, is able to couple, form two scalar patterns at a distance, couple them and form energy at a distance. Energy on an object, for example, and that is psychokinesis when the object moves. That is the exact mechanism by which it is done. Just as the human system used electricity long before we knew anything about it, it used FM, for example, it also uses Tesla scalar waves and it uses scalar interferometry. As shown on this slide, the Russian uh, experimenter, uh, the Russian woman in the laboratory on the slide, is being instrumented and measured as she performs a psychokinesis. Now, in this case, what happened is that all her body rhythms get in phase. Then electrostatic energy begins to form on the object itself, electrostatic field. In other words, clearly showing that she is producing additional phi field on the object. The motion of charges in the object immediately makes it vector field, and so we get a vector force on that thing, which produces movement, and that is the way she does psychokinesis in the laboratory. 